Well, I think I'm appalled, Colin, like everybody else. From what I understand, both these men are legitimate members of the Ukraine military and have been for some time. To call them mercenaries is absolutely ridiculous. Um, they are now prisoners of war. The Geneva Convention prescribes exactly how prisoners of war should be treated. And certainly putting them up in some mocked up court uh, with no authority and charging them with crimes that are ridiculous and then sentencing them to death it is, is appalling. But, you know, I'm not surprised. Um, you know, the Russian forces have committed apparently many war crimes already in the war in Ukraine. And this is apparently another one. I think it's absolutely essential. I'm glad to hear that Liz, Liz Truss has quickly sort of got up and condemned this. But we can't let the Russians and the separatists get away with it. Uh, we must be absolutely demonstrative in our reaction to it. Uh, you say the Russians and the separatists. I mean, in a sense, we could have a little bit more confidence in the safe return of these two men if the Russians were able to exercise total authority over the separatists. Because we, we're, But we're not sure about that. If we were sure about it, we'd start to think back to the days of spy swaps and individuals being used as pawns, and it, it, you'd have a reasonable expectation that these guys could be returned home as part of a prisoner swap. Well, that's right, but I, I, I'm sure if uh, Putin flexes his muscles in that area, he can make anything happen. Uh, they are entirely reliant on the Russian forces to support their activities in the Donbass uh, and everything else. Um, but I think it is you know, what the Russians are allowing to do, the way that they are fighting this uh, illegal war, which is why, you know, I would hope that Liz Truss has called the ambassador, the Russian ambassador in London, to our office straight away to get him to sort this out as soon as possible. Um, you know, it is the Russian military that is full of mercenaries. The Wagner group, who I've seen in, uh, in Syria, who, who act absolutely outside the laws of war, and the Geneva Convention. So we must make it very clear. I mean, these are British citizens sentenced to death by the Russians. It's outrageous. It really is. It really, really is.